Hello everybody, how are you all doing? I'm your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Vice City. Alright, here we are, so let's not waste any time and start the next mission. So here we go. Ah, uh, to be perfectly honest, I have no idea what we are going to do today. So, um, I guess I'll just let the game surprise me. So here we go. Just like that. Um, right now I'm considering, would it be a smart thing to do to buy some ammo while I'm here? Well, really, I suppose that it's always a nice, a smart thing to do. Huh. You know, some of that stuff right here, in the long run, it wouldn't be too bad. I mean, how often do you just wake up and think, wouldn't it be great if I had a shotgun now? You got me here. What are you gonna do with me? Probably just as often as I do. Alright, so... Uh, this is not your street, man. Look where you are. Fine. Right shift to buy. I don't know, guys. The controls in this game are weird. And some more ammo for the handgun. Eh, yeah, well, I'm already here. Sure, why not? And we're done. I think those should be enough for whatever might be coming up. Here we go. Hmm. So... Let's see what awaits us. And I should probably stop jumping out of my cars because uh, I lose some health doing it. Though not nearly as much as you would in GTA 4. That's a game where I wondered why can I even jump out of cars if it kills me... Well, I would say almost always kills me, yeah. Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's man at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Hmm. That sounds like the obligatory sniper mission. Uh, I think we're going to take that car. So, multi-story car park, he said. Uh, we're gonna get there. And just because I can, I'm going to take that health pickup with me. Okay. So I think I should be set for whatever is coming up. Got some firepower. Got full health. What is the worst that could happen? I don't even know. And we are already here. Now, where do you drive into the car park? Probably from the other side, right? Or maybe from here? Yep, apparently it's here. I'm gonna... I wanted to say I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's all the way up, but it isn't. Wow, nice. I think I remember this mission now because I've... Uh, I'm sorry Lance, you okay man? Uh, manually aim in first person. It doesn't tell me how to do that. Hold the delete or right mouse button to aim with an assault rifle. Sounds easy enough to me. Okay, so here we go. 
Iron Assault, okay, so doesn't sound too hard. You know, by now I know the controls of this game good enough to know that I probably shouldn't have too much faith in them. So looks like we're here. You must be called Tessa's new gun until more gainful opportunities arise. We'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay. I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. The roof across the yard. Here we go. Go and I might as well equip the assault rifle. So what did it say about first person? Hmm. Well that was definitely the time before iron sights were usually implemented in games. <coughs> yeah sure I'm gonna do that. Also that's not even what I meant to do, but So let's see if they try something. C to crouch. Well, C4 crouch, really. To increase accuracy. Oh shit! Dude, damn. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. Even if the controls are not great and I can't see shit, but. okay. Really, they do pretty well for themselves, but on the other hand, uh, see, I can't really reach them from here. So that means I first person isn't very useful right now. As you could clearly see. Which is why they really fucked this up, so... I'm gonna make a cut here, see you in a minute. So let's try this again. Now that we know that while we can switch into first person mode, actually doing so isn't actually a good idea. This whole thing should go better. So here they come. And so far everything is safe. Well, even though if we stand closer to the edge, this might not be such an issue. But then, probably better not to count on it. But for now we just wait. And then we try our best to take care of these uh, Haitians, that's what they are. So, one down. And maybe I should readjust my mouse sensitivity. And I have to reload, as it seems. And see, that wasn't hard. Like, it wasn't at all. Die. Die. You need help, we all need help. More of them? Oh, that's just fine. Die. Uh, what can I say about the gunplay? It's probably what you can expect from a game at that time. And I actually I feel kind of sad of saying it like that. I mean, it doesn't play badly. At all. Yeah, I see. Where are you? You're coming up there, aren't you? Oh no, his money! I will. Maybe then we will learn how to to shoot from a bike. Has been some time till we lost. Um, Left control or left mouse. Why couldn't we do that before? Because we didn't have the right gun. Duh. But for now we should just catch up to him. Apparently the only guns we can actually shoot from motorbikes are submachine guns. So you stay here. So while we can shoot, actually aiming isn't nearly as easy. Is not nearly as easy. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Alright. This shouldn't take us quite as long as it did with that one Frenchman who we had to chase. And here we are. Done. See, that wasn't hard. Now, the one thing left to do is to evade police. 
and then take this briefcase back to Diaz. So time to get back on the back. If they pull us out of or from a vehicle, they will arrest us and the mission therefore will be failed. So uh, not something we want, obviously. But the rest of the mission should be smooth sailing. Just giving back the briefcase and we are done. At least if I don't somehow manage to do something really bad. But frankly I doubt it. There shouldn't be anything that can still kill us. So, it's all just a matter of getting there. Which we are now. See, wasn't hard. I live! Take head! And it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit. Where's that guy, Lance? Well, he apparently already left. And that, as I just said, wasn't actually hard. And you know what? Because that took me to attempts, I think I'm going to call it a mis- What is my deal with that? I'm going to call it an episode for today. So, as you all know, I'm your German snob, this is Let's Play Vice City. I hope to be seeing you again next time, and until then, enjoy yourself, and we have a phone call. <laughs> okay. Uh, being real rich, that doesn't sound too bad. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good point to stop recording for today. So as I just said, I'm your German snob, this is Let's Play Vice City, hope you join me again next time. And until then, have a good time, enjoy yourself, and ciao.